Welcome back to my channel. So the, this video is going to be a recap of the season. I'm pretty much going to talk about the whole season and what shows we did, what shows we prepared for and didn't do, what was the hardest in my opinion. The whole season was pretty hard in a few different kind of ways and just kind of go over all the stuff. I have a whole bunch of footage that I didn't end up getting to use this season that I didn't end up getting to use this season. Just, I don't know, it didn't fit into the videos that I made. So most of the footage today is gonna be footage that I haven't used in any of my other videos. So yeah, let's jump in. So we started the season with Manuel Legree's Le Corsair. It was initially meant to be premiered during the last season, but it had to be cancelled due to COVID and the first lockdown. Initially, I had been in the cast of a couple of court of ballet pieces as well as Waltz Soloists, which is four girls who have a group dance during the waltz. But due to holes in the cast, when we came back, I was added to the cast for the three Odalisques, which is three girls who have an opening dance together, each girl has a solo dance, and finally they have a coda that is all together as well. It's a much more challenging part and after seven months off I actually really struggled in the beginning with the fast and obviously very technical choreography. I worked really hard and I was super excited to be given a chance to dance a larger part in such an amazing show but unfortunately the final cast came out a while before the show and due to not having enough time to prepare I was unfortunately not given a show. The hardest part of this last season for me was probably the disappointment actually of not being able to dance that part and the hardest thing that I had to do was continue to to rehearse after I had already learned that I wouldn't be dancing that part. I mean, of course that's just part of our profession. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen, and I'm determined to be much more prepared for the return of Corsair this fall, where hopefully I'll finally be able to perform Odalisks. <laughs> I did, however, get to perform more shows of waltz soloists than I was scheduled to due to some dancers having contact with COVID and having to quarantine. And all in all, I'm really proud of how all those shows went, especially after having such a long break. I think as a company, we really rallied and did the best we could, and I was so grateful that we could be back on stage after having such a long break. So our next shows that we were scheduled to perform were the Lady of the Camellias and the Sleeping Beauty. So Lady of the Camellias is a show that we have actually performed before. I did a few things there, mostly corps de ballet stuff, the bigger dances, and I was super excited because this time around I was first cast for Blue Ball. 
Hi guys, welcome back to Polish National Ballet Life. We are so delighted to introduce you now to our rehearsal of the blue ball scene from The Lady of the Camellias by John Neumeyer. Here running the rehearsal is Miss Pani Kalina Schumer. Please welcome all to the rehearsal. As you can see, everyone is terrible, so please be kind with judging. And I was in the cast for the dances in the countryside, which both of those things are a little bit harder and more challenging than the things I had done before. So, of course, I was really excited to be able to perform them finally. At the same time that this was going on, we were also having rehearsals for Sleeping Beauty, which has always been a dream of mine to be able to perform. I love big traditional classical ballets and Sleeping Beauty had been revamped and re-premiered a couple of seasons ago here. I had been so sad that I had missed out on it because it was a season that I had still been in Wrocław and I was so excited to finally be able to dance it. I was in the cast for some very exciting things for me. I wish I had more footage of that <laughs> but unfortunately we were rehearsing such a short time that I didn't get around to doing it. The Nutcracker is going to be one of the shorter parts of this video. We barely even started rehearsing. I think we all kind of knew that it wasn't going to happen, but soloists did rehearse quite a lot and I did have a couple of rehearsals of Walt's Soloist before they eventually told us that it had been cancelled. Um, an idea did come up to do a ballet gala and that actually did happen but unfortunately not everyone in the company could take part. Only a small group of dancers ended up being in the gala and the rest of us had probably the calmest December of our lives. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I missed the Nutcracker music but actually thinking about it now I am excited to do it this year when it comes comes back, I hope. <laughs> The next shows that were up for us last season were The Tempest and Lady of the Camellias again. Some people in the company started saying that Lady of the Camellias was the cursed performance because every time we had it in the repertoire, we ended up going home before we could perform any of the shows that were around that time. So yeah, this time was no different. The Lady of the Camellias and The Tempest both had to be cancelled almost before we even started rehearsing them. So. In the spring, we also ended up doing creations, which could be done since it was online again this year. As you know from my other videos, I did end up doing Antonio Lanzo's piece, which was super challenging. Some of the steps during the rehearsals when Antonio was showing us, we were all like, yeah, he knows what he wants. He's super technical. The production ended up being really great. I'm super proud. Antonio got a lot of great comments, compliments. I think it was a success and we were all super proud of him. So after that, we were back on stage with R Romeo and Juliet by Krzysztof Pastor. I ended up dancing all of the shows. I was a Capulet in both the ballroom scene and the street scenes. It was really fun. They ended up filming it and you can actually still watch it online for free. I will put the link down below if you want to watch that. And yeah, here we are, <laughs> end of the season, Mayerling. So I have already talked so much about Mayerling that instead of talking about Mayerling more here, I'm just gonna put some videos. <laughs> Here's some of the videos I took from rehearsals that didn't make it into the final cut of my Mayerling video. If you want to know more about Mayerling and you haven't seen that video, then there is going to be the link to that video. And yeah, I highly recommend. That's probably the best video I've ever made, so <laughs> check it out. Chicken soup. It's chicken. <laughs> it is. It's actually really good. Yeah. Please remember to like and subscribe to <laughs> RME LPG. Try, try this soon. <laughs>